Hello, I'm Bo Gorsensky. Today we'll be exploring Adobe Spark Post. It's an app and a website that can be used to make quick graphics with text and more to demonstrate understanding. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback by clicking on the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Let's get started with Adobe Spark Post. Adobe Spark has three great options that you can use to make up some quick little demonstrations that demonstrate creative understanding of products. When you first go to spark.adobe.com, you're going to start now for free. The easiest thing to do is to continue with your Google account. Sign in with your g.ori. Now, if this is the first time that you're asked to use this program, you will need to be uh, at the proper age. If you are under 13, it won't allow you to use this program. Once you put in your birthday, you would hit done. And it's gonna tell you some uh, tips. I would uncheck that you don't want that newsletter. Now you have your options. For this video tutorial, we're gonna start with our post. And they have some great little templates. A post can basically look like a social media post that you can choose from. They have some fun templates to choose from, or you can start from scratch. I think I'm gonna pick one. Now I have my things that I can change here. Um, we could remove this if I had a premium account, but we're not going to do that. I could change my text. So let's say this was going to be a, a KWL graphic, and I want to prove my understanding. I could double check on one of these to change up the color. Maybe a box. Maybe I double click on a text box to change it about. If you grab some dots, you could change the size of the image. You can double clicking the text will give you other options. Maybe grab those dots, get it to where I want it to be. I can grab it in the middle to move it and I can rotate it and get a little bit more creative. Try to use those little dotted lines as guides to help you out as much as you can. Off to the side you have a lot more options about the opacity, about how faded you might want some things. You can easily really start to get lost in the um, overall design aspects of these things. Now if we click on our picture, we could change, uh, we could do a little photo filter effect on there. I could just do a whole color background, which I don't want to do, that are meant to be reused. Because when I want to replace the photo, I can upload my own photo, but let's try to stick to pictures that are meant to be reused on here. You can find your free photos about our topic, and sometimes you have to kind of think outside the box for options that it may have available. Now I know this really doesn't go well with this text, but we're just gonna go with it for now. Maybe choose a different filter. Maybe I wanna adjust it. I wanna get the size just right. I wanna zoom in on some areas. Maybe I wanna rotate some things. Maybe I wanna add another text box onto here. Okay, and again, you have your options about the color, what shape I might want to put behind it. What about my font? So I have some options that I could play with. It's my order, move things to the front or the back. You hit done when you're good. And this is also a really nice slider. Just sliding this little wheel around gives you lots of other great options and combinations. Okay, we've got aligning, pacing, shapes. So we've got some great stuff. I'm ready to share this now. Uh, this should be your title. You have to pick a category. Now, if you are under the age and you're using a teacher's or a class account, make sure this is off. Uh, if you're above the age, if you want to get noticed and try to share your work, you can. I'm going to create that link. And now I can copy this and post it to Google Classroom, or maybe I want to download it. And maybe I can add that picture to a Padlet or some other way of sharing off my picture. So there you go. That is Adobe Spark Post in a nutshell. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Look forward to checking out future ones about Adobe Spark in the near future. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.